welcome to my channel. There's a lot of bad things going on. Um, I think the hardest one was that my dog died a month ago. I really didn't have any time to process it because um, I'm a university student so I don't really have any time to process anything. Honestly, I feel very alone and I feel like I don't really have many people. I turned on a camera because I don't want to be alone right now. I don't take any medication for my depression and anxiety because I already have um, ulcerative colitis, which basically affects my digestive system. So I try to avoid any other medication because I'm worried about how it will affect um, my gut. <laughs> my first step of tonight is to take a shower. Um, I'm not gonna wash my hair because I washed it already. I, mean, I didn't really honestly do much today, so uh, it's not even remotely dusty at all. So I'm just gonna make myself look like a grandma right now. I put on makeup earlier because I wanted to look pretty and then I ended up crying <laughs> because I was like, oh my gosh, I look the exact same. I feel like my face isn't really one that changes much with makeup. So I honestly just get disappointed. I don't wanna use my tripod. I feel like I've just been really going through it. Especially these days. Um, I feel like I'm being expected to do a lot, but I can't seem to satisfy everyone. My hair looks really funny. I can't seem to satisfy everyone, and I mean, I just feel like I'm never enough, and I want to do all these things. I look so dumb saying it with my hair like this, <laughs> but I mean, I just feel like I'm not good enough to do anything, and I try so hard to make other people happy, because I just want people to like me, and to make them happy, <sighs> and I failed to do that somehow. How do you fail at doing that? I don't know, I feel like people just get really disappointed in me all the time. I don't want to cry and put this on because I'll look even dumber. <laughs> well now I just look stupid. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna shower now. I don't know, you look awful. Oh my gosh, I look like an idiot. Okay, it's okay. I look like an egg. But like, I don't know how I feel about this. This is not, mm, it's okay. It's fine, it's whatever. Um, okay, I'm gonna shower, I'll be back. Okay, I just showered. I put on some fresh pajamas. It's a little cold for some reason. I think it's because I have short sleeves on. But my heater is on and it's at 76 degrees and for some reason I'm still cold. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been scrolling for like the past 40 minutes instead of getting ready after my shower is over. But yeah, just a fuzzy, fuzzy sweater. My mom bought this for me, and it's one of my favorites around winter time. 
it's getting colder, so one of my favorites. Um, what I need to do is brush my teeth and do my skincare, and then I don't know. I'm not really tired. I'm kind of just. I'm thinking about going to pick up the litter box that I ordered. It arrived today. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but I um, am getting a cat. Um, after my dog died, I didn't think about getting another pet because I grew up with my dog. And so the idea of getting another pet felt like such an awful idea but um i performed at this event with my choir because i'm a part of a choir here on campus and um there was a cat adoption booth with a bunch of cats and one of the cats names was carrot and when i held carrot and I looked down at him. He stretched his paw up at my face, just very slightly, and then he snuggled closer. And I instantly fell in love. Right now I don't have the energy to do anything, but I'm not tired. That's kind of where I am right now. I also was feeling a little anxious earlier because I was thinking back about some stuff. So, my mood's like all over the place. <laughs> I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm in some way entertaining, but I feel like it, I'm not, so I'm sorry. I promise my other videos will have more stuff in it. I just really can't be by myself today, so. I've been sitting on this couch for so long. I should get up. I should get up and do stuff. I don't want to keep spiraling, so. I also need to journal. My therapist said I should journal, and she said to send updates. I haven't done that. Um, I don't remember if I'm meeting her this week or next week, but um, I haven't done that, so I'm gonna journal tonight and send that update to her. I have so much to update her on, it's crazy. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Flossy. I don't know why I did that. Okay. I'm gonna get a chemical peel, um, which is about like $130. Um, but I'm waiting till a little later like maybe like during winter break ish because i don't want to go to class with my skin peeling like crazy so yeah not doing that um i feel like working in my bed so i think i'm gonna do that i had a pretty rough night I don't know, everything's been kind of off today. Well, it's okay. In the morning, I'm gonna have leftover curry because I have so much of it. Like an insane amount of curry. So, well, it's not like soup. Oh, it's really dark. Um, I need a little bit of light, actually. Um, I need to switch on my cloud light. I haven't used it in a while. This is my cloud light. I kind of consider it like a reading light. My first time watching YouTube was when I was, um, I think it was elementary school or something like that. And my first ever YouTuber I watched was Stampy Long. Stampy Long, those or Stampy Longhead. 
But he was my favorite, and he was the only person I watched. And then I watched Idolist Exploded, and then I watched Dante Young. I was a big Minecraft kid <laughs> watcher. And those are, those are the good times. This is going to be a little depressing, but um, this is my dog's blanket. Um, I gave it to her to lay in for her last few weeks because I was in school, so I knew I couldn't be there all the time. Um, and then this is her stuff. We have her ashes back at home, we just haven't been home yet to pick them up, but yeah, she's just in here. I put it in the jar because I want to preserve her smell. Um, because she was a very sweet smelling girl. She was very sweet. So sometimes if I really can't sleep, I'll, I normally have this wrapped up like this, like so to protect the jar. And then I'll just hug this and then I'll sleep with it in my arms. She's always, always in bed with me. I also let her hang out with this one. This is Sally. I let her hang out with Sally. So I sleep with both of them. It really helps me sleep better because I sometimes have a hard time sleeping. So Nila helps a lot. Um, just having that there to comfort me is really helpful. Ugh, I'm so tired now. I said I wasn't tired earlier, but now I am. You see that skin texture? Journaling time. Oh my gosh, that angle. I just saw my, up my nose. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just use this one. Ta -da! Brand new for a new era of my life. I don't know, I say that like every two weeks. And then nothing new ever happens. Oh, my battery's gonna die. No, oh, don't die. I need you. New battery. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so I have to say it all again. Um, <laughs> so this is my, my journal, and um, I made a video when, way back, if you look at my channel, I made a video like how to be motivated, and I made it like really aesthetic, and I was really proud of it. But um, obviously, I have been set back a lot in my healing journey. So, I'm now going to be taking my own advice and writing this journal. Um, when I write a journal, I follow GLAD, which is what my therapist had suggested, um, which is one thing you're grateful for, one thing you learned, one thing you accomplished, and one thing you're delighted, one thing that delighted you. And then she added ING, which is your intention for the next day. So, typically in a journal, I just write how I feel, um, and then I write out my glad thing, my gladding, <laughs> and yeah, that's just how I do journaling. I haven't journaled in a long time. The last time I journaled was August 31st, so it's been a little while. I just need to, I guess, get back into it, so. Today is November 9th. I told my friends I wasn't feeling well and they're getting concerned. I don't like disappointing people. 
but at the same time, it's like every time there's something negative happening in my life, and somehow I have no one else to talk to except for my friends, and at some point it reaches a point where I feel like I'm just a burden. <laughs> And I don't like disappointing people. So I don't like saying how I feel, but I feel like I need to or else I will literally not be okay. And life, I don't like worrying people, but that seems to be all that I do. So I just feel like the total waste of space, to be honest. I don't feel motivated to do much in my life at this moment. So I just feel like I am wasting time for people. <laughs> so I just don't. This is really upsetting. I keep getting Thai food advertisements that cost money and poor. I'm a little tired, not gonna lie, so I'm just gonna watch a movie. And then I'm gonna film tomorrow because I'm preparing for my cat. So, yeah. Good news. <laughs> so. That's something to look forward to. Hopefully something to look forward to. Okay, well, have a wonderful day, or night, or afternoon. I will be okay, I promise. I'm gonna keep uploading and keep you all updated. Um, if there's people watching this. Thank you.